Today's Catan com combination, Catan combo, is the attack, which is chapter two from the Legend of the Sea Robber, and it's combined with Cities and Knights. So as always, we did do it did a playthrough uh, on this board, and we found it worked actually really well together. Initially, we had put the victory points quite high. We do recommend uh, victory points of 14 for this one. The couple other notes is because at the very beginning you hand out the friends from chapter one, so don't forget to do that uh, just randomly to each player. Lily had Jarek, the smith, and it says when you buy a development card, you use one less resource. Doesn't apply here, there's no resource card. So what we said was when you upgrade on here, you can do it with one less commodity. So that was Jarek the Smith's, um, that was his benefit. The chests out here, this one, you cannot choose a commodity. It has to be a resource only. This one here, if you choose this card, because there's no development cards, you get to choose a progress card of your choice. We found that we didn't have, we were running out of intersections on the main island to place our knights. So normally nothing is built out on the gold island, but we did allow one night to be built out there. That way we were better able to defeat the barbarians when they landed. <clears throat> and the last thing was if you had a city by an, um, an iron bog ore. So if you had your city and a six rolled, you automatically got a cloth no coins were allowed. So just to refresh your memory, if you haven't played Cities and Knights in a while, these are the coins. Uh, you're not allowed to choose those. You automatically got a cloth instead. Now for the resource for your city, you could choose a sheep or a rock. So that's kind of how what we did. So let's say the six rolled, I could take a rock and a cloth or a sheep. And a cloth. And because this is chapter two, the attack standalone, each pasture hex gets four of these bog irons here. Make sure, one thing that we did notice, make sure that your wheat has really good numbers. So ours did, five, ten, eight, and then we had the lonely twelve over there. Um, but they, they weren't rolling and it was a struggle because you need wheat uh, out here to move your gold miners and then you also need wheat to activate your knights. So make sure that your wheat, if you are doing a random board like we did, make sure they have good numbers. If you're using our board, go ahead. Our numbers worked really well. Unfortunately, they just didn't roll properly. And I think that's it. So we'll roll the dice, we'll show you the placement that we used, the order of placement, and let's see who wins. Lily rolled a six, so she's going to be placing first. We'll do our order of placement right down the middle. So the first, oh, cats like the ships. Cats are playing with ships. Okay, Lily's going to place a coastal settlement, followed by mom. And then Ryder, who is chasing cats and ships. And then Ryder's going to place, so these are coastal. And then Ryder's going to place his second settlement anywhere else on the board. Followed by Mum, followed by Lily. Then Lily's going to place her city. So normally the attack doesn't have cities, but we are combining it with cities and knights, don't forget. So we do need cities. Then Mum, then Rider. 
So next, Ryder will place one ship, if the cats didn't steal it, and two roads. Followed by Mom. And then Mommy. So that is the order of placement. Let's see who wins.
with the 14 victory points. So she's got 14 Catan chits. She'll point those ones. She's got one, two, three, four. And then she's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it was a good combination. It, they worked well together. There was, there's, like we said at the very beginning, there's those couple things that you need to change. But overall, it was a really good game. So that's it. Keep playing and have fun.